Oh, happy 4th. I'm heading to my parents' place. Looks like a storm might be in the offing on the way. But maybe it'll be gone by the time the fireworks shows go on. Probably around 9 o'clock out on the lake. If I can get anything, we'll see. All depends on the weather. And yeah, there's some storms moving in, so I'm heading out now to beat the weather. So, ah, yep, and school's out as the clouds are looking ominous to the west, actually the north and west, so, yeah, we'll probably take the back way for the old scenic route. Oh yeah, looking a little dark over there. Yeah, it could be interesting. Yep. Uh, there's a beautiful truck in front of me. <laughs> Toolbox open. Winder cracked. Fun times. <laughs> Old beater of a Dodge. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, continuing on, I'm going to get past this old redneck and get on to my destination. Really, dude, your window's not working on your fancy looking Nissan Murano? <sighs> oh, I'm really glad this guy's in no hurry. Jeez. Oh, finally, come on. Unbelievable. He's done, then he's taking his sweet old time getting in his car. Goofs! <sighs> Get out of my way. For freak's sakes. Oh my goodness. Alright. Quick deposit and now we'll take the old back road. Lots of U-Haul trailers. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Yep. Down the back road we go. Oh good. A goof backing out in front of me. Beautiful. There's a hoopty. <laughs> Wheels worth more than the car. Yep, going the same direction I am. Beautiful. There are kids playing in the front yard. Kids like your kids live here, is that right? <laughs> Fancy Jeeper. There's a truckload of scrap appliances. Yep, probably been out junk picking. Alright, now uh, cross this crazy intersection. Yeah, and this car is doing the same thing. Go figure. There's your DUI sickle. <laughs> and coming through another rune to boot. Great. That one turning once you get in the right lane then. Maroons. Yeah, fancy looking townhouses through here. Still wouldn't want to live in one. Okay, we'll make our turn here. There's a fancy old bug, couple of them. Oh, look, a goobmobile. <laughs> All right, we're out to the main road that. Oh, yeah, dark. clouds are looking really dark over there. That's kind of the direction I'll be heading here shortly. Jeopardy on NBC, ball. That's funny. Yeah, McDonald's still kicking over there. Hey, good, I can turn. Sweet. The old ball greens. Okay, alert. There's the old Goodwill. Yeah, lots of mulch and stuff on that there. A lot. Yeah, I've been kind of thinking. I'm heading, this will be the 2nd, 4th of July. As you guys know from 
last year. It was a very emotional time for me, coming back the end of June, and my wife didn't come back with me because of her diagnosis that uh, the biopsy had uh, come back, and we opted for her to stay. She decided, along with her family, that it was probably best for her to stay down there to get treatment. So last year, at this time, was very difficult for me trying to portray a good time while my wife was battling what would later be diagnosed as stage 4 uterine sarcoma cancer. So, yeah. And, and then, of course, you know, this year my parents have opted, which could possibly be, you know, their last 4th of July party, which they had last year. They opted not to have one this year. It's, you know, my parents are getting up there in age. They're both closing in on 70, and it's a lot of work planning for a big party like that. So they opted to not have one this year. And there may be a few, you know, close friends along with me over, but no, no party. Man, that's, that's an ominous looking storm. But yeah, so this year it's not so bad, but it is because, you know, again, my wife's not here anymore and times have changed. So most of my friends have settled down, moved on, so to speak. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's just not, just not the same anymore. So you know, my parents invited me out to watch the fireworks on the lake. So I took them up on their offer. So that's why I'm heading out there today. But yeah, as before, and if you watch my past 4th of July parties, if you're up for that, uh, my wife was always making the margaritas. And uh, she would, we always bring our tequila. And my parents would get most of the supplies aside from maybe the squirt that my wife would make her margaritas with, which I got a video of. You're welcome to check that out as well about her how she makes her or how she used to make her margaritas but uh, yeah not anymore you know, let's do it selling some fruit but uh, yeah <clears throat> it's unfortunate I mean you know, times have changed and uh, still trying to move on so but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, my parents and I, we talked about this, too, and they're opting, they're debating whether they're going to continue the parties. And I told them, look, you know, I know you're not getting any younger, and these are a lot of work. So if you choose not to have these big parties anymore, I totally understand. But uh, as it is, it's just setting everything up and it does it takes days my mom was saying it takes anywhere from two to three days to get everything ready and then the party happens and then it'll usually take another day or or so to clean up everything so yep but uh so yeah if there's any fourth of july you know get together it's gonna be small uh, dude pulls out and couldn't wait for me to get by, I guess. But, yeah, it looks like we're about to close in on this storm. We might actually run into the rain because we're coming up on the line here. Uh, kayaks, looks like fun. But, yeah, I don't think, at least it sounds like to me, my parents are probably going to be opting not to have their big 4th of July parties anymore. So, that yeah, wind's picking up. I see stuff blowing around. 183 for gas out here. Live bait, oh, 15.49 a pound, or whatever, how many pounds it was. Still sounds kind of pricey. Yeah, people heading to the boat landing anyway. Don't seem to mind the storms. Yeah, we might be hitting some rain here soon. Yeah, 
It's a cool looking cloud. In the base of the storm, basically. As I like to call the wall cloud. Oh yeah, definitely looking stormy. Oh yeah. Looking ominous. But yep, yeah, so as I was saying, that's yeah, times are changing. So Last year may may very well have been the last year for these 4th of July parties. But still, they, they were a lot of fun. Of course everybody loved, you know, loved it when my late wife was there making her margaritas and of course there was yeah, there was a couple times, probably a couple years in a row, she just could not get away because people were requesting you know, another margarita, another refill. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I could probably make them if I put my mind to it, but still, it's just, it's difficult. It's really difficult to try to make the things that she used to and, and all that. So, yep, there's the rain hitting. Gusty winds. Oh, yeah, really gusty winds. Now, boy. Annoying bright lights. Wow. Yeah, this should be a downpour. Mother Nature throwing, throwing her own fireworks in the mix. And that's getting some water in the room. Falling that fast. Wow. Yeah, this is impressive. I don't see any lightning, so mostly it's just a just a deluge. Man. All right, made it to the four lane. Safe and sound. Yeah, here's a Malibu boat. Ye buddy. If he's gonna make the signal, probably not. Nope, he's gonna make it. I'll go that way. I'm going this way. Malibu. Alrighty then. Oh man. Get some floodwaters here. Wow. Now this is entertaining. Man, pretty heavy rain actually. This whole fancy road project they did, the road's not getting, or the water's not draining off the road fast enough. Huh. Well, this has turned into quite a 
quite an adventure. Yeah, nobody's moving in either lane, so we'll just follow follow the leader. Yeah, we're still hitting some heavy rain up here. Beautiful. Yeah, maybe I can get around this slow poke. <laughs> Lovely rooster tails. Reach my turn off. There's a big old boat. Oh, yeah. I think this is a first coming out here for the fourth and running into a rainstorm. Honestly, I kind of kind of like it. Cools things down from the heat and humidity we have down here. That's for sure. Oh yeah, heavier rain now. Hope nobody's out walking. Yeah, I saw this storm coming up on the radar. I figured, yep, better get moving. But got caught in it anyway, but still, I don't mind. It's not part of the adventure. those little bumps or little things in the white lines there to let you know in case you had a little too much to drink and running off the road there bowl. Well, overall man's doing pretty good in this rain well, it looks like we're catching up on traffic though or they're turning off which would be just fine some are, some aren't. Wow. Oh, rain puddles. Oh boy, people on with their flashers going, I can't see what I'm doing. I forget how to drive in the rain. Ain't nothing but a thing. All right. And what this car is doing. Uh, just a little bit of water. It'll be all right. Finally, make up your mind. Turn left. Huh. Okay. Utility construction, yeah, I think fiber optic lines are going in from our local ISP. And 
I'm not a fan of them at all. They prevent other companies from coming in because they try to charge rental prices to use their lines for the competitors, which I think is stupid. But they say they own the lines, they have the right to, so it makes it real difficult for other internet service providers to come in and provide a competitive rate and service. As the service from ours is pretty, pretty pathetic, to say the least. So, anywho, yeah, I'm uh, pretty much here, so I'm just going to probably wrap up this portion of the video. And if we see any fireworks, I'll uh, get them on video. If not, we'll just record the adventure home. Man, more heavy rain. Yeah, let's see the fancy log cabin. It's a nice place. Yeah, at my parents' house and watching the storm move across the lake. That's pretty impressive. See the rain band over there. Heavy stuff has pretty much moved on to the north and east. But, uh, yeah, nice refreshing rain. Uh, lake's getting crowded, all sorts of boats. The weather has cleared up nicely. We'll probably be seeing some fireworks later, maybe up the cove here, that direction. And they're going to have a bit of a display going on. Well, the nuclear plant's got its steam going off. Yep. Helps us have power around here. Take a walk down the dock. Haven't done that in a long time. Way back before these stone steps were built, I put in some cap blocks for steps. They worked for many years until this finally got done, I think about five or six years ago. Uh, a little bit of landscape and work. Yeah, I think down that way is where they're going to have the fireworks. Yeah, these are much more stable than what I built. Pretty nice, a little overgrown. Boats are long gone. And somewhere down here, maybe where they're going to have some fireworks, so I might be getting some shots of that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fancy docks. Sun's getting ready to set. And over there is North Carolina, yeah, splitting across the lake. Yeah, shooting out their small fireworks. Cinder blocks trying to keep the dock level because it's been kind of folding up a little bit. Speeding boats. Skeeters out. I'm gonna have to keep blowing them away before they start eating me up. And pontoon races. Getting a float toad behind them. Boats kind of getting close to each other. Huh. Uh. Fun times. the old lobster trap. I believe that's the one that we brought back from Nova Scotia way back in 2000, I believe. 
and the fire pit. How old's your fire pit, Dad? What? You had this done when? 2010 or 11? Seven years ago. 2010. 2010, okay. Yep. Yeah, let's party. Looks like the fire ants are starting to spread. Yeah. Oh, is that what this is? Fire ants? Yeah, they got in that uh, bush there. Oh, lovely. The guys are coming out, I think, later this week when they're gone. Kill them off. You hope? Yeah. Is that a huh. Pardon? Probably, probably Canadian geese. Who knows? Yeah, probably the geese. Geese come up here every morning. There we go. American flag flying. Head towards another boat over there. You gotta watch out for the, the rednecks on the lake. Yep, everybody's got their American flags on the boats. Small, big. And even the island over there, Goat Island. Already got a bunch of boats. Lobster trap from Nova Scotia. <laughs> oh, sun's setting. Fireworks are going off. Can't see a whole lot of them right now, but figured I might just go ahead and get ready to get into position. I should have brought my tripod. I forgot about that, but it's all right. I'll try to hold it as long as I can. Yeah, boat waves coming in, crashing into the dock. Let's see what it does to the boards. Getting eaten up. Huh. Yeah, the lights are going. The moon. About three quarters. That there looks like a police boat on patrol, probably looking for drunks. Had some markings on it that looked like the old marina police. <laughs> 